If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can help you skip those valleys. Let's rally, yeah. If you wanna be crypto savvy, Tuesday evening as we look at Ethereum going into the FOMC meeting tomorrow. We're going to use our range report provided by our partners over at the team at genie.io. Now, first things first, let's start over on uh, trading view as we look at Ethereum. Now, overall, the, the big picture of Ethereum, you can see that we're in an overall bearish or bullish trend. Sorry about that. We are in a bullish trend. We've been setting higher highs and higher lows. Now, I wouldn't expect this to show a change of character, meaning uh, we would start to reflect more of a bullish picture uh, until we break this level here at about 1650. You can see at this area here, we actually had put in a lower low. So just because we are putting in a lower low in this area, doesn't necessarily negate the fact that we're in an overall bullish trend. So I just wanted to make that point known. Again, I wouldn't anticipate a change of character unless we lost this uh, level of support here starting at 1650. Once we jumped back into this zone, that's where I would start considering ourselves looking at a change of character to an overall bearish outlook. However, for now, let's jump over to the four hour time frame to get a smaller micro view of what's going to happen leading into the FOMC meeting. Now, if we jump out to the four hour time frame, we can see that there is a head and shoulders pattern playing out. Now, the head and shoulders pattern is more of a, uh, what's the word? It is a beginner's uh, technical formation. It is one of the easier patterns to spot, and it's typically one that beginning traders will gravitate towards and uh, typically see more frequently whether it's actually a head and shoulders or not uh, just because it, it is so easy to spot. So I typically don't like bringing them into videos. However, this head and shoulders is lining up uh, pretty, pretty perfectly with going into our FOMC meeting. Now, if we were in fact to see this head and shoulders pattern break out, which would be to the downside, which would have to breach this level at about $1820, $1830, right around that area. If we were able to see the price breach that level with a little bit of authority, the price point that I'd be expecting us to settle into, or at least start to see that little bit of a bounce or, or a reversal, would be right around that $1650 to $1700 area. So just to recap this formation before moving on into the genie.io range report, is the only way that this pattern will break out will be to the downside. And if it does break out to the downside, that would be with an emphatic push that breaches through this neckline. If that were to and have in fact play out, I would expect that pullback to come down to around 1650 to about 1700 before seeing that slow down or just pop back up into our uh, support band here. Now, if that doesn't happen to play out, the most probable outcome would to just see some up and down sideways action going into the meeting. And I doubt we would go any higher than our point of control line that you can see just above our heads, which actually correlates well to the shoulder line as well. So to put it in simpler words, either choppy sideways action or a slight pullback to the downside for the near future. And without further ado, jumping into the range report provided by our partners over at the Genie.io team. At the time of recording, you can see that the price of Ethereum is sitting at $1,866. We're already on the Ethereum side of things. Looking at the volatility forecast, opportunity zone, and relative value, uh, I would say it looks like the uh, slight pullback is definitely a confirmation looking at this. This also supports the possibility of that head and shoulders pattern breaking. Now, another thing that I would like to uh, point out that I've mentioned in the past couple of videos is the location of the relative value line in comparison to the forecast and opportunity zone. And if we look at that compared to Bitcoin, you can see the difference there. So moving on, we're not going to spend time on the candles as we were just in trading view. Checking out the hourly RSI over seven days, you can see that we're just coming up out of that underbought area, still under 50, only at a 42 right now. However, we are pushing up and putting in higher highs and higher lows. 
looking at the hourly or the daily RSI over 30 days. And I would say that this is showing us that our trend is starting to wear off slightly. If we look down at our Ethereum MACD, you can see that we have just had our uh, bearish cross back here on the 19th, and it's just been a nosedive ever since. On the Ethereum Stochastic over 30 days, we actually just got a bearish cross two days ago on the 30th of April, and we've been pulling back down to, what are we at right now? We are at 44 currently. Looking at the average price, I'm going to hover, actually, I like to... I like to bring them down a little bit, hover over it, and that just works a little bit easier for the way my eyes like to look at it. And looking at this, you can see we have been seeing a pretty dramatic pullback. Looking at the balance on volume, we are heading down, and I don't anticipate really seeing much of a change in that. Now, checking out the average directional movement index, we have pulled all the way back from a rating as high as 35, sub 25, which is absent of any trend reading all the way down to 18. Ultimate oscillator, uh, pretty much sticking in the middle here for the last few days. We are down at a 44. Parabolic stop and reversal. We actually did just get our first uh, sell dot printed above our candle after we had seen, what did we get, five, six? So we had five uh, buy dots printed before we just switched over to that sell dot. Now again, we like to see three in a row to have that real solid confirmation. Now, if we look down at the Fibonacci, we can see that we are still pulling out that retracement. Jumping down into the candles with Hikaki, we do have another solid bear confirmed back here on the 18th of April. And the last one that we had uh, overall was an unconfirmed bull signal. Now this chart does play out over the course of 90 days, so another thing to keep into consideration there. Over on the Copac curve, we had completely bottomed out, performed its about face, and headed back towards the zero line. And looking at the historical, and you can see Ethereum's range report is absolutely crushing it at just shy of 96% accuracy. That is nuts. If you're interested in this range report, down in the description, there's a link that allows you to get a two-week free trial as well as 10% off the already low price of only $20 per month thereafter. This report is something that easily can pay for itself with your entry and exit points and uh, confirmations with, within that sort of thing. So if you got anything of value from this video, please smash that like button and make sure to join us tomorrow. We're going to have a video earlier in the morning that will jump into Bitcoin and we'll do another little pre-discussion heading into the FOMC meeting. And then what I'm kind of kicking around, and if anybody has an opinion on this, I would greatly appreciate your input, is I'm considering doing a, uh, you know, a live video during Jerome Powell's uh, press conference, which would be about a roughly, you know, 30 minute press conference. But then during that live coverage, also showing uh, the Bitcoin price on a very smaller, you know, time frame, so that way you can really see how much the re the market is reacting in real time to Jerome Powell's uh, speech regarding the interest rates and you know everything that's that's going to be discussed there within. So at any rate, if you got anything of value from this video, make sure you smash that like button, and I'm looking forward to catching everybody tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Like, like, comment and subscribe. Like, like, comment and subscribe, yeah.